I'm here with the Hoosiers. Back in 2007, they found instant success with their first single, Worried About Ray, and their first album went to number five in the charts. So, uh, number one in the charts. Me. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. They are now back. Who's counting? No. <laughs> they are oh, now yeah. back with their fourth <laughs> album, Secret Service. So, you guys started touring on Saturday. How are you finding it being back on the road? It's good. Why am I answering that one? <laughs> You're answering all of them until I tell you otherwise. <laughs> it's good. It's really good, actually. We, we had to blow a few cobwebs off for the first two shows, but now we're ready for Brighton. Uh, actually, it turns out blowing cobwebs off is uh, makes for a poor warm-up <laughs> to the start of the show. We should have just... Hopefully, now we just play music. So we'd like to apologise to Lower Stoft and um, Kent. One thing I've always liked about you guys is the strong relationship you have with your fans. Quite uniquely strong, I'd say. Some Does that them, have Some of them are a bit weird. <laughs> 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 Not really. <laughs> um, and I'm wondering how that shapes your music. Um, not so much the, the actual music, but the way we release the music is uh, dependent a little bit on what the fans want. Like for this album, we suggested we were going to release a series of EPs, but they voted strongly in favour of an album. So we take their thoughts um, seriously. I think early on, um, Laura, right? Yeah. I was going to say, can I call you Laura? <laughs> and you were going to go, my name's Chloe, and I'll go, but can I call you Laura? <laughs> Um, I, I think we, you know, we struck upon a very good arrangement with the fans whereby it was an unwritten rule where we said, look, we're a band, we're going to make the music, how about you guys buy it? And they seemed up for it, mm. so it worked. Yeah, and um, you've even put forward to them to choose the set list for your live shows? Oh, we just gave, we allowed them to give us suggestions. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and actually there's some very good suggestions, so. Much better than ours, actually. <laughs> it's, I think it's really nice that you have that um, unique relationship. Um, well, it's important that they're, they're the boss now, really. Yeah. So, hi, boss. <laughs> so the fans are the boss rather than a scary yeah. record label. Yes. And there must be a much more free for you guys. Yeah. yeah. Thankfully, we're, they're nice bosses <laughs> most of the time. <laughs> most of the time. Yeah. The multitude. Um, you guys were actually my first gig back in 2008, 29th of October, at Rivermead Leisure Complex in, in Reading. Reading. Yeah. yeah. Where I caught what the one where I caught a glow stick. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Do you remember that? I didn't that? throw that. I oh, wish that I could say I threw amazing. that. That would have been a beautiful. I do remember it. I love wow. that. Um, I'm actually from amazing. quite nearby. I know you guys are local as well. Yeah. So that was yeah, incredibly exciting for me. Where, where about you from? Um, I'm from Thatcham. Oh right, yeah. Wow, you've heard of Thatcham. Thatcham That's yeah, really exactly. amazing for me that you've, anyone's ever heard of Thatcham. <laughs> um, oh, yeah. So I was wondering what your first gigs were. Well, I, I went to Skunk and Nancy. And they were being supported by Stereophonics, Stereophonics. yeah. yeah. Thanks, so, Owen. Yeah. Just going to answer. I mean, that's the thing, most people watching it, but won't, they will, um, I mean, you know, won't showing know our age. Answer, we? Well, they should yeah. search out Skunk and, and on Spotify, it. and there will be like S K U N K A N A N S I E. I could watch you spell things. I think I've got a new idea for a brand new television show Spelling Owl. Do it. What's your first gig? Uh, see, it wasn't a good one. I want to say, like, oh, Pink Floyd. <laughs> but that, that's a lie, because, you know, not to take, not to kind of depreciate your value and for us by you going, we were your first gig. But most people's first gigs, you, you don't really, you know, you were like 10 years old, you don't really have much to say. I went to see the Boo Radleys, didn't really like it. Oh. <laughs> At the Hexagon. It's quite sad then. No, in Reading, though, Reading Uni. Oh, Sweet. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Um, so following the theme of the album title, albeit not the subject of the song, um, I was wondering if you guys could have any spy gadget, what would it be? That's, that's good. First time I've, I've been asked that, actually. Um, if you've really got us on the spot, I'll be honest. Yeah. So okay. I'm going to have to say, <laughs> how about uh, probably invisibility? I mean, that would be pretty sweet, wouldn't it? Okay, so some Sounds kind of cloak, go. maybe. Yeah. Or, okay. Like, well, no, well, not Harry Potter, Potter territory. <laughs> Nothing like that <laughs> okay. cloak. Completely a separate different cloak that cloak. also makes me invisible. Okay. I like it. I'm going for those um, goggles that make oh, I can see through walls, etc. Nice. X-ray. X-ray, that's it. <laughs> Glasses. Glasses. Or goggles. They specifically goggles. have to be goggles. goggles. Yeah, goggles. So given these fabulous kit that you could have on offer, if you got the opportunity, would you give up music and take up lives as international men of mystery? Oh, uh -huh. Do we have to kill anyone? Um, it's up to you, I suppose. Depends on the mission, should you choose to accept it. Oh. Actually, I'd be rubbish at that. I'd be, I'm really you're inattentive. You're invisibility cloak. You're I'm still in, inattentive. I'm just, I forget things and I'm always late. You are okay. late. Yeah. So you're not made to be a spy? No. Okay. Very ill made. What about you, Al? Yeah, I'll do it. 
A absolutely. Yeah. Okay, so forget the fans the and the loyalty now. Nah, giving it up. Oh, <laughs> put it like that. Yeah, Al. Right, solo <laughs> career. No, I like it because when I planned this question, I was expecting some sort of soppy. No, we would never give up the music. Uh, but I like that you're like, yes, spy. Oh, yeah. It's Great. <laughs> you could still be like a really bad spy with an Instagram account that mm. tells everyone what you're up to, what you're wearing, what you're yeah, eating for you breakfast. Yeah, you have to these days. <laughs> yeah. You have to, otherwise you wouldn't make it. But you're not a real spy. No. Maybe you are spies. Maybe this is a slightly you know, <laughs> massive like, cover. Have you seen that film, Confessions of a Dangerous Mind? I haven't. Very good. George Clooney directed, and it's about this guy, Chuck Barris, I think. And he... And he made loads of high concept 70s TV shows that were like massively famous, like Mr. and Mrs. And he also claims he was uh, hired to be a CIA assassin. Maybe Good film. Go. I mean, you are touring around the country, so you're traveling around. I mean, I think. Hiding in, pra in plain <laughs> sight. Thank you. Thanks for helping me out. God, appearing as two bumbling idiots. <laughs> it's all a cover. It's a perfect cover. <laughs> Genius. <laughs> Wonderful. Um, well, that was my final question, but thank you very much for coming in. You're um, welcome. They're going to be playing Patterns tonight um, in our own Brighton. Yes. Um, so thank you guys and enjoy the rest of your tour. No worries, thanks. Thank you. Thank you.